All right, so we're jumping back on this for now. Well, not for now. I'm jumping back on this now. I did do the family thing yesterday. I went to the Ren Fair. So the rear, this is jacked up. It has to be ready by Saturday morning. I think at like 8 a.m. for the Bud's Creek 4x4 Off-Road Expo. Um, today is Sunday. It's supposed to be raining on and off all day today. Tomorrow I'm officially off work. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday I'm supposed to work day shift, but I've already taken it off in order to get this truck, this car done. But the only thing technically that needs to get done is I already bought my straps. We got to get the front end lifted and make sure, and then get the dry shaft out of the other car into this one. Which is not horrible. It's on the already the other car's on the trailer, so just drag it up on the trailer, take the dry shaft out, put it in this car. Hopefully it fits because this one's a five-speed, the other one's an automatic. But the difference in the legacies, like the Impresas and stuff, the Forsters, they have one like one assembly for a dry shaft. You can't replace the U-joints, you got to replace the whole thing. Uh, there's a few companies that actually sell the replacements, but you got to do a little machine work to the to the uh, dry shaft in order to do it. These come in, in halves. So like it's got a flange. So I only need the back stub, so I might it might be the same. You would think that'd be like if you're gonna do it, that'd be the same for all the all the legacies. I don't know, we're gonna find out. So I gotta get the front of this jacked up. We're gonna lift it, we gotta cut the fenders out, rip the front bumper off. I want I at least wanna build a front bumper for this thing, possibly a rear. Um, we already have the straps. The only thing I'm missing is a uh, hooks uh, recovery hooks this the uh, the rules call for it to be attached to the frame it's a unibody car it doesn't have a frame like it, there's some frame rails but they're just sheet metal and tin so uh, I'm not 100% sure how I gotta go about that but I'm um, gonna figure it out so let's get to it I'll show you what that noise was. The uh, shock tower that I showed you guys previously before that I still have yet to fix has decided it wants to come apart the rest of the way. See right there? It's alright for off-roading purposes. So, I'll get that fixed later. Get the jack stand underneath this thing. Okay, we found a, we found a variation while working on the front of the Subaru here. We got the shock the shock and the spring and the cap pulled out. Now see on this side it doesn't really look different but if you flip it around to this side this hole is oblong. The reason being this is a regular bolt goes in the bottom here. This is the one for the top. Let's see if we can get in on that. See how it's got a little bit of a shoulder? It's actually flat here, but it sticks out this way. So that way you could turn this bolt inside of it and it'll adjust your caster or camber. It'll adjust your camber. So, yeah, this is just an off road toy, but I'm not real confident in that considering that this bolt is not very long. It's got a washer which will buy me a little bit of space, but so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm just gonna build a hat for the top of this. 
So we gotta run to the hardware store, get some stuff. We'll hop an old Chevrolet. I already pulled one of the bolts out. We're gonna go ahead and take the whole assembly with us anyway. And first we'll stop at the auto parts store, see if maybe they just happen to have these, one of these cap, two of these caps. I know they've had them at one of uh, uh, the local ones. Not the closest one to me. I don't feel like running a half hour out, but it's because for other applications they call them low, low uh, ride height levelers, or whatever. When you buy a pickup truck, the rear is jacked up a little bit to compensate for you loading it. So a lot of people who don't who buy trucks don't actually use them for trucks. They put low levelers on the front to bring the front up to match. So. I can make a quickie one of these because it uh, doing the plates like we did on the rear it's me two and a half inches so I can make it easily quickly make a two and a half inch one with a little bit of plate and a couple of a uh, couple pieces of tubing so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll run out and go grab that stuff Raise the ride height by uh, extending from the strut to the knuckle, the spindle. Which one of the reasons I, I wanted to do it that way was because it actually, the way the strut curves out, it'll hit the wheel. But I had so much offset on these wheels, or it would hit the tire. But I get so much offset on the wheels that I, I, they just stick out. The stock wheels have like six inch back spacing versus the two inches that I'm using. So I'm barely going to cover the hub, uh, the, the brake rotor, and it'll stick out far enough. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cast. In order to do it, we're going to start by taking this piece of cardboard that I cut out with a pair of scissors. Just stick it up in here. <clears throat> with it installed, I'm just going to head and mark out all right we got our top plate for uh, I don't know, jig plate I guess we could call it and have to come back from the hardware store got all our hardware we uh, So after I welded these up, so the large washers and the little space for the elite, I took and uh, cut these pieces of, it's just flat bar, two inch flat bar. So, cause the actual spacers are cut two and a quarter. So put them on there, put them on the, the, the hook that's the tie down that's on the trailer. And I just beat it with the hammer, bend them around to clear. So and then I take welded that all together. And this is what it left me with. So I'm gonna take my MIG welder and go along the insides because I'm not very good at getting on the inside with TIG welder right now. Well, that my 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 TIG welder still running on 110. I till the new garage is up. I don't really have a lot of power to go around for that. So, but it does what I need to do. So, like I said, we'll just make it up real quick, and we'll go ahead and put it in the other side. All right, with the newfound spacer, MIG'd 
and baked it on the insides just to give it a little more extra strength now one of the reasons I put the bends in it like I didn't I didn't really have to I could have fabricated something else a couple of plates and been done with it then I had to cut a hole but with this if it doesn't 100% line up I can just take and tweak and bend on these just a little bit till it lines up I uh, felt the need to pretty much put reverse offset wheels on front wheel drive offset space. It moves the wheel out farther so that way it actually swings instead of just rotates. And because the goal is, is basically where the, uh, the pivot point right above the ball joint. So that's where you want the center of the wheel. That's where they worked it out geom geographically or geometry and all that jazz to make it handle well I decided uh, I well since I gotta put these in here I need more clearance room so I gotta I've already cut in here I can't seem to move it there's a lot of sheet metal in there because it's part of the, the structure of the car but it'll be all right Now we can see where that gets us. needs a bit more hammering but it actually clears I'm all the way over so do the other side all right we cleared enough on the inside chassis I don't actually want to keep the whole fender but for now I'm just gonna lop some of it off put a couple of bolts in there just so it it's, it's halfway presentable for now uh, I plan to build some tubes and s some other stuff with the top couple of inches of the fender once I get some more flat bar and stuff like that. But trying to get ready for this weekend, I'm just going to lop stuff off. Alright, next I'm just gonna take the little uh I'm just gonna take like a little uh get my body hammer out. We're just gonna take this inside lip right here and we'll just go ahead and bend it over. And that'll work for now.
Alright, drive shaft is in. The suspension lift part is done. 